Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Soup League. Odin here. I kind of wanted to go over a brand new uh, series of videos uh, and um, which I'm going to cover a lot of arena questions, a lot of arena information, as well as the best arena defense team compositions and my favorite and what I believe to be the most broken attack team uh, compositions. Uh, the first team that I want to go over is my favorite one. Uh, I like to use this one for when I'm really pressed for time because it's the most effective in my opinion at climbing the ranks. Uh, you can use it against any particular team uh, and then of course it involves the uh, fire tracker which is officially now on the uh, rebirth uh, table for this month so make sure you pick up at least one fire draka as she is completely overpowered not just for the story but also for arenas um, the uh, dimensional rift dungeon the dragon dungeon the golems dungeon uh, probably the best wave clearer in the game and she has retained her spot in the top number one slot in my opinion over the last like two and a half years since she came out uh, onto the MSL floor. So I'm going to cover you uh, with you guys the two that I use. Uh, the main team that I'm going to be covering first is going to be uh, two Fire Drakas, a Light uh, Cupid, or not a Light Cupid, excuse me, a Light Yuki, two Fire Drakas, and a Light Griffin. So it'll be two Fire Drakas, Light Griffin, and Light uh Yuki. Uh, so this is essentially one of the better teams that I find. I personally think this is the most broken team. Uh, you can kind of check out my Draka's substats here. Uh, I did super ascend her. She's got shared determination, so grants a 50% chance every two turns to restore 25% of all allies ASP. So that's really great when I really need that extra boost to, you know, get my shock uh, from my let Yuki up. It's not the best one. I really wish I got something else, but it's workable for now, and it is a pretty decent, uh, decently used, uh, I guess, uh, super ascension. The second Draka that I use is right here. I use her in a siphon set. Uh, she is also rocking a shield for the super ascension. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys really quickly my gems. This one's an attack. Uh, really crappy substats. I do plan on changing that to recovery to a resist once I get some um, substat exchange tickets. Uh, the second gem is just a regular 5 star. I do know I have a better one, but I like this one because it has 26% resist. So I could definitely push your stats higher. But it's what I need right now just for a couple extra survivability hits. Uh, this gem here can totally be replaced. It just gets crit damage, attack. There's nothing you know crazy. So my first one is an attack, attack, crit rate. Um, and uh, it works pretty well for me. Uh, the second Draka that I have here... Oh, oh, I guess I forgot to show you guys the, the relics. They are 6 star relics or trinkets. Uh, this one's only a 5 star. I do have another 6 star that I'll, I can probably switch over to her, but I, I currently have most of my 6 stars on my uh, Courageous Strikers for Titans, so, you know, disregard this one, but uh, Refined Sky Magicite. This one just gives me a little bit more resist uh, versus uh, the uh, glowing one, which gives you a little bit more crit damage. Um, I will eventually be changing that over either to the Arthur uh, t or Trinket set or uh, possibly the Valkyries because it gives me a little bit uh, of like extra defense. Um, but uh, yeah, so using that one, I think this one here is uh, glowing, Relic of Chaos. Uh, this one actually just gives me a little bit more defense than the others. I believe I need to change this over though to Asperius. I mean, you know, you can all look up the table of the trinkets that I have on my Discord channel and they will tell you, you know, which one gives you the best stats for what. Um, but I'm essentially just kind of using these as filler at this point in time. Uh, this one gives me a little bit more uh, defense and attack as well. Uh, this is just a regular glowing one. Uh, the second fire draka here, I'm using um, attack, attack crit rate, same setup. So this one's on 27% crit. Uh, you know, again, guys, I'm not really a whale. I don't really spend a lot of money on this, so I'm gonna keep the substats that I get with whatever gems that I find from story or golems or you know the Colossus dungeon. So it's not, you know, I'm not spending tons of money on this. Uh, here's the other crit rate gem. Has a little bit of crit damage, some defense, HP, and attack. Uh, the bo both of my drakas can definitely use improvement when it comes to resistance. However, I am using them for attack purposes only, so I'm going to keep them the way they are just for now. Um, I do have a better siphon set gem, but I was actually just testing it out in my uh, Light Valrona, so I'm just going to keep this because I believe even with 5-star gems, these two um, Fire Dracus are just completely broken. Uh, and you guys will see that once I start doing the, um, the compositions or, or my fights against teams like you know heavy heavily stacked defense teams hp teams pretty much any team they're just completely broken uh, my yuki that i am using i got really lucky with her and i ended up getting uh, the super ascension for recovery uh, down 
Uh, so recovery seal here grants a 70% chance to disable the enemy's HP recovery for two turns, which is stupid useful against you know opponents like the uh, uh, Water Persephone or the Light Cupid or the Dark Hana, which right now are like you know really heavily used for defense teams. So. Uh, my light Yuki is on a uh, Gemma Bastion. She is on attack, attack, crit damage, or excuse me, crit rate, attack, crit damage. Uh, and she has pretty decent substance on this gem set. She has high resist. The reason why she is prioritized for resist is because almost every single Mon that is on defense will always target the light Yuki. Uh, I particularly think that that's a, 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 a code that was written by Smart Study to kind of like. Um, reduce how effective the light yuki is because the light Yuki can re re really is broken so this other gem is an attack crit rate resist and crit damage this is actually a very nice gem i do like this one a lot so crit rate 14 resist 23 i do plan on changing that recovery hopefully someday to uh, hp because uh, she is very very low on hp she's only got like 50,000 hp the other gem is, of course, a crit rate, but 20, 21% attack, resist, um, and you'll see my light Yuki hits very, very hard, even with just this uh, Bastion set, so, but, you know, I think, in my opinion, right now, the, the arenas are very unbalanced, almost every Astromon, like I said, will attack the light Yuki first, and I don't know what it is, but it's just, it always seems to be the case, no matter, you know, what a team you're using to go up against, they'll always seem to hit uh, the Light Yuki first. So let me go ahead and go back up here. I'll show you guys my Light Griffin that I'm using right now. I do have two. I got really lucky with my pulls. Uh, this one, is, I believe, is on uh, defense, defense, HP, or HP, defense, defense. Uh, but we'll check it out here in a second. So just basically just prioritizing defense and resist. I can definitely change these gems for something better. But I did go with flat um, substats here, uh, mainly because uh, I got a little bit of a better boost from the flat substats versus the percentage ones. This gem here can definitely be changed. Uh, I don't need attack on Light Griffin. Light Griffin is mainly just a defensive mod for the resist down. Um, and of course, you know, basically buffing up your, your or debuffing your opponent with that resistance down so hp defense substats are usually better on him uh so this one's an hp so he's on hp defense defense yep so hp defense defense uh the, he's on a glowing uh trinket uh and you guys can pause the video and, and check out the substats they're nothing like you know crazy the trinkets really are just more of like bonus survivability uh, sets and you can pretty much use any five star or six star that you have i don't particularly recommend you guys to buy any of the uh you know tickets to or, or the what are called the arthur trinkets just it's 400 astro gems i'm gonna do one just to show you guys the rate here but <laughs> watch i'll pull like a, an actual trinket but um almost every single time that i've you know, wasted Astro Gems uh, during the Trinket Summons, I end up getting like a 4-star at the end, and we'll see that here. Alright, we got really lucky there when we pulled a 6-star, but it's a, a crappy one. You don't want to you, you don't want to waste your gems, and that's what I'm getting, at, getting to. Alright, so now that I've gone over my team, the two Drakas, the Light Yuki, and the Light Griffin, I'm going to show you guys how they work. So right now, we're just going to go to the regular league. I'm pretty low, but I'm going to try to find some teams that look pretty beefed up. So this one's a Light Arthur, Dark, or Light Arthur, Water Purse, Light Cupid, and a um, Water Shaharazad or whatever, Shay, whatever you want to call her. Um, this looks to be like a pretty decent team. Uh, this person's pretty stacked. He's level 60. Uh, he's a Korean player. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and try our luck and see how his defense team stacks up against uh, this uh, Fire, Draka, and uh, Light Griffin, Light uh, Yuki combination. Oh my lord, it's taking forever. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and give it a go. It is the active week this turn around, which means that you'll actually have a little bit of a boost and an advantage. Uh, especially if you have a Fire, Draka. Um, I got really lucky with mine. I, I was like a brand new player um, and I had a couple of variants. At the time, I think I was only playing the game for like three weeks. And I had never played the game and uh, I ended up pulling like a whole bunch of variants, like my very first clan festival summons and Fire Draka was not around. So I actually missed her first like uh, rebirth, um, but she came back like four or five months later and I still had no idea how important the variants were at the time. You know, for me, I was just like still trying to get some of my monster stuff, evolution level two. I was mainly just focused on grinding to get the, uh, at the time it was unlimited, endless gem refills from sliming. So I literally spent 90% of my time that I played the game just sliming. 
Um, I did find out like a couple late months later that there was like an, a bot that people would download it to, to do the sliming, which I had no idea about, but I literally did everything by hand and it was like the most like horrible, like first two months of playing the game because I literally did everything by hand. Every, every sliming session that I did was literally all by hand. So it was horrible. All right, so right now they look to be very, very heavily uh, stacked. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the water uh, Shahrazad. But I, I've gotten rid of the shields, so now all I have to do here is one attack of the fire draka. My Yuki's got her SP bar filled. Come on now. And hopefully they don't resist the shock here. Alright, so the fire Arthur um, resisted the shock. Hopefully my uh, draka here does not die. She resisted, great. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think this next one here, I'll be able to kill one. There we go. He's got a dark Mona there for defense. I think she is going to break that um, shock. So I'm just going to kill the uh, dark Mona here. She's dead. And she's going to apply the nullify effect or immunity. But the game is essentially over. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the uh, water purse first. Uh, she's got blessing. Oh, I've seen a lot of water purses now with blessing of the fallen and it is it's broken um, I mean she recovers a ton of health here. I mean look at that. She's like even shielding how I, What what is she shielding with? I have no idea what she's shielding there with there um, Let's see Maybe oh, I see she's got a super ascension of shield no, she's got to have this, the, 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 what do you call it, the morale boost thing there, so I don't know. But anyways, as you guys saw, the fire, uh, two fire Drakas, Light Yuki, Dark, or Light Griffin combo definitely worked against that team. Um, of course, this is active week too, so it definitely gives me a bit of an advantage, but uh, I'm telling you guys, this, this team is literally broken. You can set it to auto and it will kill 90% of the teams it goes up against. Uh, here's another good one here. We got a light Hana, so she's an HP aggressor, uh, resistance down. By the way, guys, the water Hana is, is terribly underused. The, the water Hana is actually very, very good for arenas with resistance down, resilience. Um, basically, all allies gain SP every time they attack. So it's it's very it's a very good buff. So don't sleep on the water Hana. I feel like I should make a video just on the water Hana alone because if you're a new player and you have one, even at Evo 2, she is phenomenal to get uh, across some points for the arena. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys this team here. She's using a uh, light. Um, what do you call C star and uh, of course the Yuki with uh, full um, books. One of my Drakas does have uh, six skill books. Uh, the other Draka does not have any skill books. My Light Yuki is obviously fully skill booked and my Light Griffin is actually not skill booked at all. Um, I've been saving my books for my Dark One because I'm using the Dark One right now to stack up points for the World Boss. Um, if you're not familiar with the world boss, I'd suggest you guys to familiarize yourself with them because you'll be getting a lot of uh, points, which you can then use later on to build up, uh, you know, or purchase some of those uh, super gleams, which can definitely help you get some monsters to uh, Evo 3. So, all right, looks like he's got a fire draka as defense. It is, of course, the, um, you know, and this team here should be able to survive this, I'm hoping. Wow, no, that that is a stacked fire draka. So, you know, it, it'll come against a, a certain times where you'll go up against a really heavily defensive team like this one. That fire draka is very glassy. <laughs> She's got a, a shield super ascension, but we're going to go ahead and give it another try and see what we can do. Um, we just got to be careful with active week, you know, it's just as soon as they come out, they're going to hit you with their super or their special moves. So, uh, just, you know, watch what you're, you, where you're killing them, when you're killing them. If you're low on HP, obviously you don't want to kill them on, especially if you don't have like an SP siphon. Um, if you need an SP siphon, uh, monster, the dark Yuki is very, very good for active week. Uh, she is like super heavily recommended. So. Uh, I'm going to try and see if maybe I don't kill any one of them, but I mean, I feel like one of them is going to die either way. They're, they're all built very, very glassy, so um, let me see if I go after the light, Yuki. All right, there we go. That might work. And then that way, on my next turn, I should be able to take out the light Draka. All right. 
So this time I'm going to do this. And now we have the whole team debuffed. And then we'll go with the Light Yuki. So there work, there's work around that, uh, some of these, uh, you know, really heavily defense, defensive teams. Um, and that's why I think this team is like really, really good. You know, basically it's almost like I didn't lose that battle because I just regained back my uh, entire like, you know, rank and points. So um, I think I'm pretty low right now because the arena just reset this week. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do um, the random match. Let's see if maybe we get somebody that's actually decent. If not, we'll just go ahead and skip it and I'll reset the um, list and see if we find somebody who's better. Um, I really want to find a team with uh, a defensive stack like the um, well, Dark Siegfried, Two Dark um, Krakens, and uh, the Dark Yuki. Because that's a team that's actually really, really hard to beat right now, but this team can totally take care of it. Uh, so and, and I'll show you guys that. All right, so this team is actually pretty stacked. Um, he's using SP Siphon as his defense set. That's a bad move. Uh, Light Yuki. Hopefully I don't die here. Or I don't get shocked by everybody. Oof. That, that's, that's a tough one there too. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we shocked the Light Yuki. I should be able to take care of this team here. The Dark Yuki has um, Nullify, but looks to me like we still came out on top, I think. Unless this Water Purse has, nope, she did not have that Morale Boost now. Uh, or Unwavering Resolve, excuse me, the actual name of the skill is Unwavering Resolve, I keep forgetting it. Whenever I'm recording videos, stuff just like flies out of my head and I usually like don't remember. Um, but I, I am pretty familiar with most of the um, active skills, the defensive skills, etc. So that was a decently like uh, stacked team, I think, for defense. Oh, here we go. Here's a, um, I don't know, he's using a dark uh, wild thing, which uh, I feel like maybe that person just didn't have a really good team. Okay, here's a good one. Um, so we have two light, um, what do you call it, uh, dark pers or light. Persephone, which means like he'll be getting that shock up really really quick so this might be a very very hard team to beat so let's try and see what we can do with the uh this um draka setup um hopefully you guys like this video hope you guys enjoy watching and at least maybe you know if you have these astromods and you want to try this team composition you can definitely do so um, but it's more of a showcase for some of these astromods and especially to show you guys how useful they can be um, and how good they are on particular uh, weeks you know with the active skill week being up right now it makes the arenas really really hard uh, so it, it it's hit or miss with a lot of teams. I personally still think that the arena is still very, very unbalanced, um, but you know, you can only do so much. All right, so he actually completely destroyed my game there, um, but I am gonna do this, which got rid of the shields and this should be, yep, okay, there we go. So this time I have to make sure that I resist and this is why I need to change some of my gems to resist because I guarantee she's gonna shock me. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, so, but at least she's only got one skill book, so. I'm not sure if I want to redo this team. Yeah, we should give it one more try at the very minimum. We, we owe it to ourselves to try at least one more time to try to get some of our, um, you know, gems back. But as you guys can see, this team is very, very broken. So uh, that is one of the reasons why I think right now that the arenas really need a rework, um, particularly for newer and beginner players. Because, I mean, you know, what are the chances that you're going up against somebody with two light purses? I feel like there should be, like, almost a restriction against that. But, you know, I'm using two fire dragons, so I really cannot speak much, too much at least. Um, but, yeah, this is a very hard team. I, I got to say, it's a very good composition. Uh, light Hana has the resistance down. She's an HP aggressor. Uh, she has a shield. You know, the two light purses are essentially giving you tons of SP fill. On top of that, you're getting, you know, two turn shock if you fully skill book them. The Light Arthur has, you know, shock on the first star and like, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, I forget the name of his skill, um, but it's very, very good, very effective when it comes to nuking. So. Um, yeah, we'll see if this one works out better for me. Sometimes RNG is hit or miss. Looks like the Hana's also got a shield. Um, what do you call it? Um, 
um, a super ascension. Let's see if we can shock. Pfft, wow, super huge high resist right now. So, you know, like I said, hit or miss, guys. You know, you, you can really come up against a really good team like this, or you may or may not. Um, I'm hoping I'm able to shock at least one of these now. But they, they're all really heavily resisting. Alright, so we were able to kill one. Don't kill him. Nope. Oh, that was a mistake. I probably could have had it there if I if, uh, I hadn't killed the, uh, the Arthur. Because this time I would have just been able to um, hit the, the Yuki with the resistance down. But we'll see. Oh, of course, super high resist. And I'm pretty sure I lost the, the, ga the game right now. And, and that's how, like ridiculously hard it is right now you know if you don't have the right team set up if you don't if one uh, turn doesn't go your way you're basically lost <laughs> but hey at least you guys get to watch me fail on arena right that's always a, a bonus and i'm not afraid to show it wow this light purse is stacked man i i, I really want a light purse or even hell i would love a dark purse right now so bad she's just so good um I did pull a uh, light on Mioji, so I, I do use her on my defense team. I want to try this team again, man. This team is pretty good. If I had uh, not killed the light Arthur on that turn, I, I probably would have had that team. So, um, But yeah, I, I actually kind of like going up against this team. Wh whoever came up with that setup, I mean, it's really difficult to get to light Persephone's, uh, but that is a nice setup, man. Uh, so congrats, whoever you are. I didn't even look at the name that time. I'm pretty sure this is um, uh, a Korean player again, unless we can see the name here. Yeah, it is a Korean player, so. Or no, maybe Chinese, or Japanese, excuse me. We'll see. All right, let's see, who do we up against? Let's do the light Arthur again. I feel like I need to kill the light Hana. Um, but I want to give this team a go. I kind of, I, I really want to be able to beat them. But he's making it really, really difficult for me. I will say that much. I have to go for the light Arthur there. So let's see if maybe this time the luck is on my side. So let me kill the light Arthur. Oh, shielded too. Bastion set. Oh, you B A S. Oh, got lucky there. Extremely lucky. All right, we do have the fire dracca to break this shield, which means I can do this. Wow, she, that's, that Hana, man, is just beefy. Stupid beefy. Wow. All right, let's see if we can beat this team this time. Can we beat this team? All right. Yeah, that light Hana is pretty good, man. I think we got it this time, though. So as you guys can see, man, uh, I mean, the, the two Fire Drakas, Light Yuki, Light Griffin setup is actually pretty good. I mean, even if it takes you a couple times, like, I'm not perfect, guys. You know, Arena, like I said, Arena is super hard right now. Like, I get it. I'm not using the best gems. But even with some, like, really, really good gem sets, it's more about luck. Uh, so, but at least we were able to kill this person at the, at the last minute, but... You know, it all depends on how you use your turns. With, with this one here, you guys kind of saw, I kind of had to like pick and choose which ones, uh, you know, you really want to kill first because, you know, you don't want that, especially during active week. I feel like active week makes you actually play the game very, very well because it's a really, really difficult, um, you know, season. So, all right, we got a, uh, a dark Merlin team here with a double SP. Oh, we got a taunt and a stun. So let's go try this team too. And I don't want to go up against like easy teams, guys. Like, you know, I kind of wanted to show this team because it's very effective against even some of the harder ones. I mean, we've gone up against, you know, full light teams. Um, we did a mixed composition team of like Stunner. We had a, a team which is Harazad. Now we're going to try this team here against Dark Merlin, Dark Yuki. Very powerful defensive mons. Um, and we'll see how we stack up against them. And I will say that most of the time, even if you lose like one or two times, at the very least, you should be able to get a revenge in. So we'll, we'll see what, how this one goes here. The biggest thing to, to do when it comes to active week is always timing. Um, because you don't want to kill an Astromon too, too soon and then find out that, you know, the hidden monster comes out and just crushes you with that SP. So, or with their active skill, I should say, not with their SP bar. All right, so I think I should be able to kill the light um, or the, the fire. Um, yeah, let's give that a try. Let's see, who do I want to stun here? The 
Persephone or the Merlin because I'm gonna get SP siphoned anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the purse hopefully she doesn't perfect all right so this turn I want to try to kill the dark Yuki which it worked and then the Merlin still has one uh, resist downturn so I'm gonna go for him perfect and we should be good now to kill them all and the water Yuki is the most threatening one out of the two I mean dark the water wild thing wow blessing of the fallen with 50% HP recovery oof that is just broken and she has nullify spell or effect so that's really good this Yuki is stacked if this person like you know had to reset it numerous times to get that skill you know <laughs> you either got really lucky and you got you know uh, the the nullify effect um or, you know the immunity i should say it's called the immune effect so you know that person either went specifically for that or they got really really lucky and happened to roll that underwater yuki so but that was a pretty decent team to go up against um, let's see, what's another good team here? We got a, a defense team with Light Omioji, Light Griffin. So he's got Shock, Stun, um, double defense aggression there. Let's let's see if we give it against this team here. Well, I forgot, I should really be checking the, the game. So this is Red. Red's actually really, really good. I want to try this team. Um, Red is phenomenal for Titans. He's very knowledgeable. He's always on the Discord giving a lot of good info to a lot of players. So I'm interested. I think this is like one of the very... I'm, I'm not sure, Red. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I actually haven't played against your team very often, I don't think. Um, SG's teams on arenas are broken. If you guys want to go up against a really hard team, try it's SG's teams, man. His teams are, are ridiculous. He'll use like two monsters and then whoop your butt still. Like, only two monsters on defense is, is, I don't know what gems that guy has, but they're just broken. Um, um, either way, I'm probably going to get stunned, so I'm going to go for the Dark uh, Siegfried here. And, of course, he's super stacked and resist. Probably max resist right now. Um, I do want to break the shield. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Because I could either use the act. Yes, let's do this. Then I'll save. No, I probably should have done resist down. Yep, I'm broken. Um, let's go ahead and break the shield first, hopefully. All right, at least we broke the shield, and then we have resist down on all of them. So the the Luki, I'm really like hoping I don't get double shock here on everybody. Oh, oh my lord, that's that's like the worst turn I could have possibly gotten there. Fully stunned and fully um, shocked. So. In case you guys don't know, Shock is actually also a defense down, so that's the reason why you're just getting pummeled here. So, Red, that is a pretty awesome team there. All right, let me give that one more try and see what we can, uh, if we can at least break some of the shield. I'm not going to try Red too many times because this kid is really good. <laughs> so, let's see, what do we got here? All right, come on. Do, 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 do. Stupid Nox. I wish it was quicker. Um, I've been thinking about adding music to the back of my videos. I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll, how about this? Leave a like on the video um, if you like the arena team. But leave me a comment down below letting me know if you want me to add music on the back of the uh, videos. Because I can add music. Or if you just like the special effects from the game, I'll just leave the special effects from the game. Um, so I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll read the comments and see how many people left a comment on there for it. Um, if you guys, you know, let me know. Um, I would appreciate that. And then uh, I'll carry that, um, you know, going forward on my next video. I'll add some music if you guys want some. If not, I kind of like just chilling and playing the game like this. So I don't usually load a lot of these videos. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's kill the Siegfried. Let's break the shield. I'll have to stun. Uh, either one or or and the light griffin's gonna get me here so i'm gonna kill the light yuki hopefully nope all right so my light yuki is gonna die here and i'm gonna get stunned here but luckily one fire draka had a shield uh, that's thanks to the super ascension and then i have the dark balk to compete against dark balk i forget what her skill is Ooh, she is she a seal. Okay, so she does seal. I mean that the 
I'm, I'm going to get nothing here from resistance down from the light griffin anymore. Um, but uh, the Draka does have the uh, puncture, so I'm hoping I survive here. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, my light griffin has a shield for the ascension, which is very, very useful for him. Um, I had him on a gem of bastion, but because I have uh, the shield as a super ascension, I went with a um, uh, gem of the healer set on him, I believe. So awesome okay so red looks like i was by the skin of my teeth able to beat your team so that was actually a very very good defense team i never i wish i had a dark valk i don't have one i actually don't have either the light valk or the dark valk so um more on i guess on my box will be coming up here in the next couple of weeks um i know there was a couple of you guys that said you like my longer videos so that's the reason why i'm going with a long video today Ooh, nesty's here let's give that a try i've never seen nesty on arenas Hmm, that would be interesting. The Dark Wild Thing is very good as a defense monster because they're generally built for nuking. So they'll either it's either you kill them or you you get killed. Um, SG has a really good Dark Yuki. I don't remember what gem set he uses, but Dark Yuki is like phenomenal, man. Like if you have her super Epo, she can be very very good. And this is a very heavy defensive like team here, so they're all gonna go for the Light Yuki. Oh wow, she's super tanky. Uh, hopefully I don't kill it. Oh, thank God. Alright, I was kind of hoping I didn't kill it because I don't want to get the active to come out. I wonder, I wonder what he's using. Alright, so they went for my light griffin. Wow, that is one strong team. Alright, and I want to do this. Oh, sorry guys, close it there. Come on. I'm using Nox, so you know I can't like swipe. Usually I play Arena on my phone. Uh, if you play on your phone, it's a little bit easier. Come on now. At least when it comes to the controls. So. Um, okay, recovery seal. Oh, I was able to survive that. Okay, looks like I was able to beat Nesty's team real quick. But as you guys can see, I really like this team, man. Like, this is, like, probably the most fun team to play. Uh, so hopefully it gives you guys a good uh, team to work towards. Um, I, I think this team holds itself very, very well because against, like, many variety different teams. As you guys see here, like, I went against, like, some pretty strong teams. Um, but I really, really like this this composition because you can, you know, you can do your resistance down, you can get your SP bar up, you can set your active really good, like really quickly, um, and the shock. Um, I think I just got really lucky with like the recovery down, even though we really haven't gone up against a lot of like recovery mons. Um, one team that I have some fair use of difficulty against is actually the Light Bast, because the Light Bast has a nullify effect, or, or what's it called, a cleanse, of, you know, that spell that basically removes all of your uh, debuffs, so a really good team to go up against. Um, I do like going up against those teams and trying to beat them every now and then. Like, I don't just go for, like, the easy teams, because then, like, the arena is great if you like uh, stimulating your, your brain. Um, it's bad if you're just looking for points. <laughs> so it's one of the main reasons why I actually don't do arenas very much anymore because there's just so many broken teams. Like it's either like you have a really good team and you're having like a lot of fun, like really easy killing people, or you're going up against a really hard team which is really frustrating. You just really want to beat them. So, but hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of a view into like how I do my arenas. Um, I'm, for me, it's hit or miss. Some weeks I, I really want to do like heroes or I really want to do like, you know, Masters League. Other weeks I'm just like too busy. Uh, you know, like I'm a dad now, so like I really spend a lot of my time with my child. Right now my wife is holding him. That's why I'm able to play the game. Otherwise, I would literally be like watching him. Um, and uh, as you guys will all come to find out, you know, especially once you become a parent, it's really uh, more of like time management. And I love Monster Super League because you can play 10 minutes and like be done with the game for a little bit. Put it on auto, you know, let it capture your game, let it capture your Astromon, get some Astrogems, and like you can do the rest of your day. So it's more of like a mental break for me, and I really, really like that about this game. Not just that, but also the fact that they're continuously adding new Astromons. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this new guild I'm on. I really hope she's really good. 
I've been having a ton of fun with like Titans lately because I am getting a little bit better at it. Um, I had a lot of help from a lot of like, uh, you know, MSL hardcore players like True Hero Luca like really gave me a lot of good in info when I was first starting out. And by the way, guys, True Hero uh, Luca does have a um, YouTube channel, I, I believe. Um, I think he loads uploads under like Mana Skin or something or maybe that's another player, but he just loads this video through him. But go check him out, guys. He is really good at Titans. He's been like 300 million, 400 million, like world records. So, um, and I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have seen his um, info, like on Nesty's channel with like, you know, the world Titan like record, whatever thing. So uh, they keep track of it. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys go watch their videos too, guys. Like there's a lot of other players that make MSL content that maybe you're just not aware of. So, you know, do some searching. Uh, I really wish the community would like, you know, grow a little bit um, because MSL has been around for a long time, but it's like a long standing game that continuously provides like a lot of fun, uh, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, so I think the last like couple of fights, uh, um, have really kind of shown this team like uh it's it's really good it's really effective i, I gotta say i i very much like this team um i'm able to climb the ranks fairly fairly quickly um even the random match really goes very well for me most of the times um i don't like to use this team for the uh challengers or what do you call it? yeah the challengers week because during the challengers week like i really like to kind of just try new teams and the last couple weeks i've tried out some very good teams so i'll be making a video on those because i found a lot of teams that most people will be like yep you're using that astromon like that astromon is so weak like why would you want to use that but it actually works very very well in certain weeks uh and one example of that is the light verdi you know the light verdi on paper is like Eh, she's just a siphoner. She really doesn't work that well. But if you have a good gem set for her and you know how to use her and you time your turns right, like that that mon is broken. <laughs> so even on that four, who most people like would not consider using, can be very, very good. So uh, hopefully, you know, this next group of videos or set of videos that I create for you guys are enjoyable and hopefully they like, you know, kind of get you to thinking about like, you know, the use from other Astromon that maybe you never thought you could use. So, um, but like I said, this video here is just mainly to showcase guys what I think is the most <laughs> broken offensive team. And I think um, I'm probably going to end the video here after this episode or after this next turn here because... Um, wow, I keep doing that. It's just going back to my little uh, PowerPoint slide that I use for my, uh, uh, what do you call it, the mini uh, picture for YouTube. So, um, All right, let's see what I can do here. That's a pretty good uh, light uh, uh, Miho there. They're pretty tanky. Light Miho is actually very good on defense. I, I think that she is definitely um, underused, but... I, I have seen some older players use her very well. The players that know how to use their Astromon very well, I'll see them use some very good older Mons. Um, I mean, heck, we're seeing the Dark uh, Bear here, and he's actually good. He's only got two Astromon. Uh, but that team there w will not last against the team that I'm using. So let's see if we do uh, one more. Let's do the random match. Hopefully we get somebody good. I really wish I had S SG here um, on the list, so I, you guys, I literally cannot be his teams. <laughs> Almost like every single team composition that I've gone up against on with him, I've lost. So, you know, something to to pay attention to. He's he's actually like really really good, um, and I'm pretty sure he's loaded up a couple of videos here and there. Same thing. If you go to Nessie's channel, he they usually post a lot of videos there. So if you don't, if you watch my videos or you you know if you you more than likely watch theirs as well, um, and they have some pretty good stuff. Wow, that light bask died really really quick, man. And here I was saying like earlier, like oh my god, she's so broken. It's really, like I go up against like teams with her and they're really good. Um, looks like this person just didn't really gem their mons very well. You can tell he's kind of more of like a yeah, definitely not. More of like a late game uh, boomer is what I call it. You know, somebody that has the mons but doesn't really know how to play the game very well. But yeah, hey, it's still it gets you points. You know, if, if all you're going for is just a couple astrogens at the end of the week, why not? But. Um, I think you guys have seen enough with this team. It was very, very good. Like I said, two Fire Drakas, Light uh, Yuki, and Light Griffin are just broken. You know, you, you got to have to get really lucky with pulling the Light Griffin, um, but uh, it's not unachievable. But I do, I will say this, I feel like the arena right now is very, very heavily biased, really broken. Um, and I really think that they need to rework the way some of these Mons work because I, I do got to say the... Um, 
the light Yuki gets targeted a lot. Uh, you know, I didn't really get to, we didn't really get to see that often here in this video, um, but I, almost every other, like, you know, high end, uh, you know, especially when I get to heroes, if I get to heroes, it's like every team on mother's earth, like um, it, it's just going against the light Yuki. And I don't know what it is, you know, I get it. She's a, a powerful light Astromon, but it's almost like for a uh, smart study or whoever wrote the devs, basically, I should say the devs because the smart study is still carrying a lot of the code from, from 433, you know, as the publisher. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that they're all still heavily um, against the light Yuki. So the light Hana here is going to her. I, if this person knows how to use the light Hana very well, she is very tanky. Yep. Um, what do I want to hit here? Let's do that. I did not get the shield. Um, she's got immunity, so it'll be wasted. My light Yuki here is going to die in the next turn. So either I, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. At the very minimum, I'll have a couple of these mons dead. I'm going to get hit by the active regardless now. But, you know, my one of my fire trackers has a shield. Come on. There we go. My fi One of these should be able to survive. I got really lucky there. All right, so there's the Yuki. I got really, really lucky on that turn. Ooh, the water rat the dark bass is going to kill me right now. She's got full shield coming up, so unless I kill Ooh, Dark Persephone. Ooh, this is gonna hurt so bad right here. Oh, I got so lucky. <laughs> That's awesome. I got really, really lucky that turn, guys, because if I didn't kill that dark purse, I was dead the next turn. Dark Persephone is is broken right now in arenas, especially on defense, so. All right, we got lucky. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. It's 40 minutes long. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I know some of you guys wanted a little bit of a longer video, so here you go, guys. Enjoy. Anyways, uh, I hope you all like this content. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, be on the lookout for some more arena uh, content. Um, and then, of course, I'll move on to Titans as well after that. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video, and good luck on you guys' uh, summons if you're going for the Heroes Festival this turn. Catch you all later.